Mr Agnew. Thank you, Chairman. Well, here, of course, we've got <clears throat> an EU effort to remove an es essential plant protection products for really no proven reason. And what is an endocrine disruptor? Well, it's anything that alters human hormone, the human hormone system. And so any soya-based food can demonstrate a disrupting effect. And look what we eat from soya, meat, milk, eggs. It's an awful lot, isn't it? But the list goes on if you include natural estrogens, because they're contained in clover, in beer, in Brussels sprouts, in wine, walnuts, coffee, and paracetamol. It's quite a long list, isn't it? And the difficulty is to establish which of the endocrine dis disruptors, if any, are problematic. And, there, of course, there are a couple of old wives' tales here, which let's just dispel those. Endocrine disruptors do not cause breast cancer and they don't cause male infertility. But it's so easy for people to just latch onto that and then regurgitate it as though it was the true word. Is the EU guilty of legislating against a miasma here? And I apologize for giving this challenge to the interpreters, but that's something unknown. Uh, if, there is no proven sy symptom to address here. So what do we actually know? Well, we know that the preservative, and I try to pronounce this, benzylparaben is uh, an endocrine disruptor with the potency of a child's bike. The female oral contraceptive pill, however, has the potency of a super tanker. And 5% of women who take this pill actually go on to become pregnant. And the subsequent children born to these mothers don't demonstrate any consistent sy symptoms to the, the fact that they've been, been exposed to all these endocrine disruptors from the contraceptive pill in the womb. Naturally occurring products in medicines and used in organic farming are just as potentially problematical as endocrine disruptors, but they're naturally occurring. The, the, the difference here is that we've actually synthesized these things and we do badly need them. So the precautionary principle is beginning to become undone because you can use it against any form of human activity, any sort of innovation, and it's just going to shut these things down. We need these products. We need to produce food that we can eat. We cannot rely, I'm sorry, Martin, on organic farming methods to feed the world. Thank you.